Hi guys, how you doing? Thank you everybody who has subscribed recently. My subscription has gone up and I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys, that's just amazing. Um, today I'm going to reveal my way in for SimWorld. And I'll be honest, I wasn't gonna go, nope. I was, for the first time in three years, I was gonna pretend I was busy or whatever. Um, as it happened, I've been, I have been busy, that's no lie, I've been on a conference all day with work but it did finish slightly early so I managed to get an early train and I did have time to go so I literally came home, changed up my work clothes because they're way too much guys um, and put on my weighing clothes and I went and I was dreading the scales so I'm not going to tell you just yet what I did I'm going to save that till the very end because I'm really nasty like that aren't I? Um, I am what I, I am what I am going to do is, I'm going to show you some more Poundland things I bought because the other day I had meetings and didn't have time to go to the gym in my lunch break, which I normally do. Um, so I didn't want to just like not get a break from work. So I decided to power walk to Poundland because there's something specific I was looking for. And thank you, Kathy, my DIY. You're inspiring me at the moment massively. So my shop from Poundland was inspired totally by Kathy and my DIY. And if you're into creative sort of um, crafts and things like that, she's a great person to go and look at. Um, I know my my um, YouTube channel is, is Slim Inspirations for You, and it's around healthy eating and things like that. But you know, sometimes if you have a hobby, it stops you snacking. And I love crafting. And for me, if I can do things, it will stop me thinking I'm bored and I want to nibble and things like that. So, um, guys, you know, even if you're sort of mildly interested in doing something, you know, creative and not quite sure what to do, Cafe is great. She shows you some really, really amazing projects that aren't that complicated. You just need a bit of imagination. So she has inspired me and, you know, at the moment, I'm struggling. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna tell you what weight thing is until later, but I'm struggling because I don't know why. Is it winter? Is it things that's going on in my life? I don't know at the moment. And so the other week I actually started knitting. But I'm gonna show you, right. I'm just gonna bend down, so I apologize. Okay, right. Just to prove I'm not lying. Yeah, I did. Because I was conscious that um, I was so stressed and I was comfort eating. So, and I thought I'd do some crocheting, which is on my bucket list for my 50th year, but um, I struggled with it and then my mind wasn't sort of focused enough to learn to crochet again. I did it as a child, I can't remember as an adult. So I thought I'd make a beanie. Um, I've started it, um, but I think I've made it too big, so I, I need to have a look at it again. But yeah, I started knitting because I just thought, you know what, Marie, you're eating because you're stressed at the moment and I need an outlet and doing something creative for me is my outlet. Um, everybody's different. Um, I do like exercise and I walk my dogs, but obviously with the winter nights now, I'm in the house and, you know, on the weekend, the weather's been really rubbish. And I'm thinking, what can I do? So I've been trying to go back to my sort of um, old hobbies and I used to make my own cards. I used to do all sorts of things. So. Kathy from my DIY has really inspired me. I just love it a bit. She's in America, but she's a Polish lady and she's lovely. So um, with Christmas coming up as well, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try and make some presents to save some money because obviously we've been not working. But also it's more personable, isn't it? If you give someone something they've um, had from you that you've made yourself and you've personalized it. So I've been thinking about some ideas and things like that. Um, so I did a shop the other day, which I don't know if you've seen, but here's the link to it. Um, and then I've added some more things to it. So, do you know what? I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you. Now, I did buy some other things, which I have, I have, have, have love. So like a Londoner, a bit of cockney there. Um, I bought some snacks from Pound. Pound's brilliant for some sort of foodie things, which on the way back to work, I distributed to the homeless because this time of year, especially when it gets cold, I really feel for them. So um, I, everything that is here um, is what I've got left. I've got some more foodie bits, which I will um, again hand out um, over the next week or so to them. Well, not week or so, it probably last a day. 
um, to them. There's some regulars I see as well and I just like to give them things and they like sweet things, savoury things. Most of them don't want money, they just want food, they want things to eat. So um, if I've got like chocolate in the house we're not going to eat, I gave them some, some like um, I had a box of chocolates the day that none of us liked. None of us, was in two in the house. We didn't like, so Kevin, um, who is homeless and he designs um, tote bags and sells them, um, he loves them, so I gave them to him. And he's, he's grateful for it, and I really feel like I want to help them. So yes, yeah, so, but on to my shopping now. Okay, so, now if you, in America and you're watching this, Dollar Tree is so much better than Poundland. It really is, guys, so nothing like what you're going to get there, but um, I'm quite pleased with my haul this week. So, look, how cute is he? A little reindeer. Now, obviously, everything is a pound, unless I tell you otherwise, okay? So I thought he was cute. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with him yet, but I thought he was cute. Okay, so he's Mr. Reindeer. With the bars, there are four in there. They will go to my homeless friends. Okay, they won't stay here. So they need to go in my work bag when I go into work. Um, I have bought some white paint. I have. Shall I show you why? Because I bought, get out, a little sign called Snow. And I thought if I could paint that with something else I'm going to show you shortly. And do you remember those robins I bought the other day? Um, that had the string tangle tree. I thought maybe if I glued a robin on here as well, it looked quite cute. So yeah, I bought a snow. Put over there. Um, right, these aren't a pound. These are two pound. Oh my god! Right, and I did buy these last year as well. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I just thought I can't not have naughty elves. What was really funny, I hadn't realised. I popped them in my bag, and um, I walked all the way through Birmingham into work with them both sticking out yeah so they were already being naughty the minute they left the shop so yeah these are my little naughty elves so i'll pop those over here i'll be gentle with them um oh look i shouldn't put this on here in case my dad watches this i don't think he will um my dad loves three and one and there's one packet left in the shop so i thought i'd buy them and give them to him as well um not as christmas obviously i'll just say well, i've got you some three and one Okay, <clears throat> a little countdown to Christmas. Now I've tried to keep a theme because grey is my lounge and I thought whatever I do, if I keep it sort of greyish, um, grey and um, gold is my lounge. So but I quite like that countdown. So I might leave it as it is, I might jazz it up, I don't know. What do you think? Cathy, if you're watching, any ideas? So yeah, but I thought it was quite cute. So the blocks will turn obviously. Um, yes, yeah, so I got that. Right, boring stuff now. Sponges, washing up. You know what? Very boring. Okay. Do you remember the lanterns I bought on my last haul for Poundland? And I thought I might put some little baubles around them and those um, sort of like Christmassy tree sort of pipe cleaners I thought I'd put in there. I got these. So I'm thinking maybe put those inside it to make it more Christmassy. So yeah, a pound for each packet. With the lights, um, because the electric light in there, I think they're little candles, so that might be nice. So yeah, so I've got two of those. If not, I'll come up with something else. Right, let me see. Oh, um, right, you know I told you I bought loads of stuff for the homeless. Yeah. So I've still got some hobnobs left, and I've still got half a bit of go head. So I was sort of giving two or three of each thing to everybody I saw. Um, and I'll save some back because I haven't seen Kevin. He wasn't there. He was there when I went to the shop. He wasn't there when I came back. So I kept things back because I bumped into him, but I didn't. So, so they've got whispers. They've got go ahead, and they've got some flapjacks so far there. Right. So ooh, I'm not going to tell you what that is. Some pipe cleaners. Don't know why, but they're Christmassy, and I thought I'm doing some projects for Christmas. It might come in handy. And there's a pair. What am I in there? 60, 60 pipe cleaners for pounds. So if I couldn't use them now, I'll, I'm sure I'll use them in the future. And if not, my nieces will love them for projects. So yeah, so I was quite pleased with that. This 
for. I was looking for a sign for Christmas and it's not necessarily what I definitely want for what I'm thinking but I like this again um, and I thought for a pound it was lovely. Look at that. It's got a little rope hanger. You see? And it says on it, have yourself a merry little Christmas which I thought was really cute. So I may leave it as it is, I may change it, I don't know. Again, put a little rubbing on here. Wouldn't that look different? So yeah, for a pound, I thought a bargain. Right, I shouldn't pick this out. Ooh, I'm dark. Right, I'm not gonna lift this bag up because it's difficult. Right, again, um, this. I'm not sure about this, right? And I didn't buy it for what it is, okay? I bought it because on Kathy's last DIY um, project, she used a witch's hat decoration and took all this tinsel off and made something completely different. And I saw this, hers look metal, this is plastic, I think. Um, and I'm thinking, I may leave this on because it's glittery and it's Christmas, or I may take it off and ribbon it, I don't know. I'm thinking of a project for this. Um, so it's just a little Christmas stocking. Kathy, again, you can help me with this if you like. Um, the sort of, tinsel i don't know tinsel's not me i don't know but maybe if i could jazz it up change it i thought it might, might make might make a nice reef um for the front who knows right i'm gonna have to pick this bag up now because i'm struggling right you can hear a big rattle here right there's a few things in here which i'm gonna need to get to in a bit right okay let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I've got two bags of snow. We need to be careful because they keep leaking out and snow goes everywhere. So I've got two bags of snow there. So I'm going to take these out carefully. Now, what I've also got, because I had an idea. Do you remember I had those robins that were on? But I'm going to show you because they're here still because we're decorating another room. So I'm going to bring it all into here. Back to my study. Like two seconds. I keep spinning, don't I? Hold on. Do you remember these with a the little robin on? I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. Okay, what I've done, I've got the snow. Dun, 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 some snow. Oh, god, yeah, snow's coming out. But I bought these. They're plastic, they're not metal, they're not, metal. They're not glass, and uh, they are plastic. And I thought, and I don't know, maybe a bit of snow in the bottom, and then a bit of this something else i'm gonna put my other snow in here because it's leaking out everywhere all over my uh my desk um yeah so i bought two of these so i'm thinking maybe snow scene with my robins and my sort of um foliage on this one i don't know what do you think maybe you can give me some ideas i don't know some inspiration but i was thinking that might be quite a nice little centerpiece so yeah we'll see i'll put this back in the other bag Okay, so that's there. I've got snow literally everywhere now. Look, it's just, let's put that into there. Okay, right, so let's go back into my bag of goodies. I'll put it back in there. Oh, right, uh, what else have I got? Uh, oh, there, yeah. right. I'm not sure if we've got the right idea or not, but I bought some acrylic crayons the other day. Because um, I want to do some um, paint. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm about to tell you what I bought here. Right, okay. A friend of mine, right, bought me a wine bottle with um, lights in the day, which I thought was amazing. And she had my name written on it and stuff. And I thought, oh my God, that's so nice. And I loved it. And I thought, what a great idea for Christmas if you could personalise wine bottles for your friends. So I started collecting some wine bottles out of my um, recycling and trying to get the labels off. It's a nightmare. You know the labels and the glue? Oh my God, I'm like really struggling. But I thought if I could personalise wine bottles with lights in for my friends, it'd be a really, really nice sort of thing. Well, I think so. Um, but then I also saw these and they're four glass um, coasters. And again, I thought if I'm using the acrylics, maybe I could paint some coasters for Christmas as well. Now either as a present or for me, I don't know. I just thought it might keep me occupied in the dark nights. So we'll see what happens with that. But four for a pound, it wasn't too bad. So let's break the spoiler guys. Right, so in Poundland, they had bottles 
Okay, that's what you can hear. So these are bottles with lights in them. If I show you, and it looks like it's got a cork in it. This one won't actually come on. Let me find one that's actually not still. Right, here we go. This one's okay. Right, so if I can show you, you take the, there's a cork, but the cork is the light, and there's your lights. Okay, so you pop those in, and it will light it. I'm not going to put it on because um, I haven't taken the tag out to stop the battery being worn out. But what I thought was, I'm just poking it back through, sorry. All you can see is my hands, there we go. I thought I could decorate these for my friends and personalise it. So I've got a purple one, I've got a gold one. I've also got a clear one. I've got a red one. Yeah, I have to carry these back to work. And I've got a green one and a blue one. So I've got quite a bit of variety there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, I just need to think about these on the floor because we're out of space in here. So I need to think about it, but I've got my acrylics and I'm thinking like the red one could have made that into Santa Claus. Could I colour it in? The green one maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I absolutely don't know. But I just thought if I want to be creative over Christmas and do some little novelty gifts for friends or even for us at home, I could maybe use these or just leave them as they are. I mean, they're really cute. I mean, they're a pound. It's a bit of a cheap present for friends. So I'd like to make it a little bit more expensive. Um, the blue one to put on the floor. I'm thinking like nautical with put some rope around the bottom and glue that on and make it more nautical or something. But, but yeah, I just thought I've, I've chose one of each colour just because I thought, well, it might give me some inspiration, some ideas. I don't know. Okay. And the last thing I bought, which I completely forgot about, was some Diet Coke. Oh, I love Diet Coke. And this was the peach one. So four for a pound. So I thought it was a bargain. So that is my little mini um, pound shop shopping haul. It is. So I think, I suppose, I ought to tell you now what my weight was for today. Okay. So I'll be honest. Um, weight wise, what have I done? I've been fine. Saturday night, my friends came around, we had some nibbles. So. I did buy some reduced fat hummus. I had some reduced fat um, cheesy puffs. Um, I had carrot sticks, but there was crisps there and things like that as well. Um, I tried to be very, very good. All my meals been on plan. It was fine. Um, and then yesterday at work, I had a buffet, which wasn't on track and it was out of my control. My evening meal was fine. Today I've been at a conference, dinner, wasn't in my control i doubt it was completely on track and i got tempted by um some biscuits you know there's party rings they're like little ring biscuits with icing on yeah i like those so i got tempted and i absolutely thought today do you know what i'm gonna gain i gained last week three pounds gutted i'm not gonna go this week I'm gonna give it a miss i've paid for 12 weeks i don't care you know it's not like i'm gonna pay in the house on top i'm just not gonna go and then I thought, you know what, just go. If you put weight on, you put weight on, just deal with it. Um, I still got this ball in four weeks and I still want to get into, I still can't get into my dress. My dress still needs to be taken in. Um, but I just thought, who am I kidding? And what was really quite interesting, because I said um, to some friends at the weekend, I'm thinking of giving um, Stoneworld a break because I feel like I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm paying my money each week and my weight isn't where it used to be and i'm a bit despondent by it if i'm honest um not that i've lost faith in some world i've lost faith in me um and i think a lot of it is because i've gone through the menopause my body's changed and i've got a couple of health issues which aren't helping so i i really wasn't going to go today and thought you know what, i'm not and then on the way home from work i thought well if i don't go today what am i benefiting What's going to happen is I don't have in my book what my weight was. And I thought, well, what's that going to achieve? Absolutely nothing. So I thought, OK, I'm going to go. So I came home, changed up my work clothes, put on my scruffs, as I do, um, and went away. And the first thing I said to um, the lady who weighed me in was like, I don't care what it is. I know I've gained. I, you know, it is what it is just do it so I set myself up for my expectations that I'm going for a gain and it is what it is and I stepped on the scales I lost a pound 
I lost a pound. And it's like, there's no viral reason. The week before, I'd done really well. I'd had two off-plan meals and I was gutted. This week, I know I had some crisps at the weekend. I know the last two days of buffet has been off-plan. And I was thinking, well, if I put £3 on last week when I've been so good, apart from those two meals, it's going to be another gain. And it wasn't. And I think there's a lesson there, guys. Um, you might feel the worst, but still go to weigh in. Okay, if I'd have gained, I'd have gained. But do you know what? I think it's really important you have that weigh in. And I can't explain it until you do it. Don't kid yourself by not going to group. It's okay. It's going to make a difference. And if you haven't been on track, it doesn't matter. You do need to go to group. You don't have to stay. I didn't stay this week because my head's not there. I'm tired. I had no start. I was in work for 7 o'clock this morning. I had to leave home for 6. And I'm tired and I want a rest this evening. So I didn't stay because I knew that if I'd stayed, it's going to have a massive impact on the rest of my week and that will impact on my food and everything else. So you do have to be real. You do have to be honest. But going to weigh in, it's in my book now. I know I lost a pound, okay? And that spurred me on a little bit. If I'd have gained, I think I'd have said, yeah, I know, it's fine. And I think don't not going to weigh in, you're kidding yourself. You really are kidding yourself. So guys, all I'm gonna say is, um, think about your good days and your bad days, your good weeks, your bad weeks. The scales aren't always your friend. They're really not. They were not my friend last week. This week they are my friend and there's no reason why they should be. And God knows what happens to your body. It really doesn't, I, I don't know. It just completely blows my mind. But Slim World does work and we all know it does work. You know, calorie counting works, Weight Watchers works, whatever diet you're trying, it does work. You just need to have faith in it. So all I'm gonna say is go for your weigh-ins, guys. You know, if you've had a bad meal, a bad day, don't give up because actually you're kidding yourself. And you know deep down why you're doing it, you know how you feel. And I'm glad I went now. I really am. And I've got a plan in my head because I've been similar for three years now and I'm, I've been struggling. Now, yes, I've got some health issues I need to deal with and that's fine. But I'm also thinking now the winter's here, the, you know, the cold weather, I need to make sure I'm keeping away from the snacks. So crafting is my thing. Now, if crafting isn't your thing, don't worry. Do you like reading books? Go for more walks. You know, do things that you enjoy, but things that preoccupy your mind or learn something new. You know, like I need to learn crocheting, but I need to find a friend that will teach me and be patient with me. Because um, I would love to go back and do crocheting. But in the meantime, I'm going to spend um, my spare time being creative. And this Sunday, oh, my hair's there. This Sunday, I'm actually going to a craft show with my friend at the Birmingham NEC. Um, just to get some inspirations. I'm hoping I'll come back with some ideas for these bottles and for things like this. And if not, I'm going back to Cathy at My DIY because I love her and she has truly inspired me to do some things and it will stop me sitting in the kitchen getting bored or you know thinking oh I'll have a glass of wine because I've got nothing else to do I'll have a biscuit and nothing else to do that's all sins I don't need so so yeah but I will tell you what I do with these guys so I know it's not slim inspirations guys but it is in a way because it's about me taking my mind off eating food that I shouldn't be eating that's my way in confession that's my poundland shopping haul i hope you enjoyed if you did guys please subscribe please get notifications give me a thumbs up if you like it and tell me what you're doing this week i are, are you finding it difficult if you are what things are you trying differently a group they talk about you know what's your plan for the week ahead which drives me crackers i have to say um because it's all about food and I think that's where I've had to change my mindset. It's not all about food. You have to change your food sometimes. It's about the other things that creep in. So being preoccupied with crafts will stop me snacking. Okay? And you might do the same. So love you guys. I will catch you soon. And uh, don't forget, guys, subscribe, notifications, thumbs up, and tell me what you do. See you soon. Bye.